Welcome to Electro Online. We can also apply these techniques to farming. For example, let's say we have two different kinds of feed. Feed 1 provides 60% fat and 40% protein, and feed 2 provides 50% fat and 50% protein. And we want to put something together that provides 12 kilograms of fat and 10 kilograms of protein. And so the idea would be what kind of combinations should we use to feed from feed one and from feed two. So again, uh, we can go ahead and start with representing X as the number of kilograms of feed one and Y the number of kilograms of feed two. And then we want to come up with some, hmm, well, let's see here, but uh, some inequalities because essentially we want at least 12 kilograms of fat and 10 kilograms of protein. We can have more of it but not less. That's why we need inequalities and not equations. So inequality number one, we can write that 0 0.6, which represents 60%, times the number of kilograms of feed one, which is x, plus 0 0.5, which represents 50%, times the number of kilograms of feed two, that should be greater than or equal to 12. In other words, we want at least 12 kilograms of the fat and then we can do the same for the protein so here we get 0 0.4 times x plus 0 0.5 times y must be greater than or equal to 10 so those are the two conditions we must adhere to and of course we can have negative quantities so we have a restriction that x must be greater than or equal to 0 and y must be greater than or equal to 0 so we can label this as inequality number 3 and inequality number 4 that leaves us with four inequalities so in order to graph them we're going to turn that those two in equations so for inequality number 1 we end up with 0.6x plus 0.5y is equal to 12 because we want to look for the boundary again we're going to hit a solid line because of the equal symbols multiplying everything by 10 we get 6x plus 5y equals 120 move the 6x across 5y minus 6x oh, equals now well, let me let me clean it up here that's not quite right so here we get equals minus 6x plus 120 and then divide everything by 5 we get y equals minus 1.2x plus that would be uh, 24 okay so there's equation number one and we have that equation number one in the y equals mx plus b format which makes it easier to graph of course so now we need equation number two and we write this as 0.4x plus 0.5y is equal to 10. So we turn the inequality into an equal sign. Then we put that into y equals mx plus b format. First multiply everything by 10. 4x plus 5y equals 100. 5y equals minus 4x plus 100. Divide everything by 5, we get y equals minus 0.8x plus 20. And there's equation number 2. And now we can go ahead and graph those two equations. Here's our y-axis. There's our x-axis. And the first equation, uh, we start at 24. And it slopes down at minus 1.2. That means we hit this at 20. And the line comes down like this. Okay, and that's line number one. Line number two starts at 20. The slope is negative 0.8. So that gets us to uh, 25 over here. And that's 20 over here. So the next line looks like it's like this. And of course, now we want to find the correct region. First of all, we can take these two conditions and know that x must be greater than 0 and y must be greater than 0, which means anything to the left of the y-axis does not apply. And anything below the x-axis does not apply because we can have negative quantities of feet. There we go. All right, now we want a test point. So pick a test point. I like 0, 0. And we're going to put that into the two inequalities, one and two. For one, put in zero plus zero, is that greater than 12? 
zero plus zero, is that greater than or equal to 12, question mark? And the answer, of course, is no, it's not. That means that this is on the incorrect side of line number one, which means we want to get rid of that. So this is not the region that we want. So we get rid of everything that does not belong relative to line number one. And then for line number two, again, we plug in zero and zero. And so we get zero plus zero. Is that greater than or equal to 10? Question mark. The answer again is no. So again, zero, zero, zero is on the wrong side of line number two. I didn't label line number two, did I? Line number two. So that means that this side is the undesired side. So we get rid of that. Which means that this here is the region that we want. Yes, that's the correct region. So it's between the y-axis, the x-axis over here, and then bounded by the two lines being on this side of it. And so we can produce the quantity of feed that we want. If we are anywhere in this region, we'll get enough feed with fat and protein in it as required. And that is how it's done.